Hi, welcome to this video. We are going to install GJ menu to our polybar. So we have already an article about GJ menu on your open box system, but the standard menu in open box is tint 2. So these are examples of what you'll receive and what you can uh, do and where you can find the code, where the GitHub is for more information and so on. So I refer to this article to get started with GJ menu. So install it via this way. And there is this command you need to know. It's nowhere uh, in, in the uh, command line or it's not in the man pages or anything. So it's, uh, you need, this is a neat trick, golden tip. This is the one you need to start to get in, in fact this GJ menu RC. The code you see, the, the, the way it looks, it's on the pastebin.com all right like this so this is what i uh, had as a configuration to get a look like this so you can take a look at it, at it. now there's another uh, video or article in the make so adding g menu to your polybar and polybar can be used in different parts we've already done the exercise and this is in on an open box uh, environment so you say buy tint 2 and welcome polybar and that's how it looks then it's all uh, anyway you want to well it's your system you can set it up any way you want and polybar can be used also in open box in i3 in bsp wm and so many more so it's a bar that's flexible and that's um, changeable and you can add any of the modules in there and now we're gonna set gj menu in a polybar okay so that's that first of all control t we need to install sudo pacman minus s gj menu it's actually a thing that comes from arch it's not coming from aur so this is another arch package done that's one thing next thing is we would like to um well initiated so gg menu in it but let's first take a look if it's, there's anything there already nothing here an i and then you say enter and then you have this this button here this uh, text and folder and all that and now we're going to get our configuration file next up is installation of our polybar so that's done so Trizen or any other AOR helper and you go look for Polybar. Okay, it's number two. Uh, you see there is a Git version two. You look at the numbers, you look at the votes and you decide. And enter, enter, enter. That's one of the advantages of Polybar that you just keep typing enter. And there you go. So while that's going, you know, in Polybar you don't have, um, in open box you don't have these corner things here. But I don't need them or don't use them. What I do is press super. Super 7 is this one. Super 8, super 9, super 6, super 4, super 1, super 2, super 3, super 5. And I just wanted to do this one. So let, them, let him do this. And in the meantime we can do some other stuff. Because we need to change the configuration of Openbox. Openbox says now, hey, let's launch Tin2. And it's in the auto start that it launches stuff. And everything is already there. You see this configuration line, the config polybar launch. And we need to hashtag out this one. And put this one in. Now, of course, if I launch it now, it will not work. So we have to wait till everything builds here. And it takes always some time and since this is a clean install i even think it's going to be uh, built with one core and we do have a ability these days to have in the bin folder to have there a uh, new package let's install that one so etc scale drag this one is a very important folder for Arch Linux, drag it here. And in the bin, there's the main, and it's missing in the other one. So the complete bin, Control C, 
to your Eric home folder, replace all, and we get now the updated with the Space Invader script and the SysInfo script. But this one is an interesting one. Use all the cores. I have eight cores on my system, four for my guest system, four for my host system when we're working on VirtualBox. So I can tell him, guy, you have three more cores. Now this will not affect, I don't think it will affect my building time from Polybar right now, but it will surely will next time. So if you um, do a clean install, that's the, one of the first things you do is get all the cores. So make sure that all the cores are working when building these things from the AOR. Okay, that's been done. Too late, but okay. It's been done and it's almost ready. So I'm gonna pause here and wait for the build. Or can I do something else? I can do something else. While that one is building, I've already told him, hey, go ahead, replace it in two with the polybar. And then we could check out, hey, what's in the polybar. So config polybar, there is a polybar. There is a config. And the question is, is there also, oh yeah, <laughs> tend to forget it. Is there also control F G J menu? As you see, when you do control find G J menu is not there. So polybar is in the meantime built. Remember, if you are on a older system, you always need to update and the updates are only coming in here. So in the config, there is a polybar, there is a config here. Has it arrived here yet, the update? No polybar, Eric, GG menu. It's not there. So, control alt t sudo pacman minus s y by u, that's the thing we always do to update. And now you see up here, there is the Arch Linux open box config. There's the Arch Linux polybar. So there are quite a few updates to uh, do. I'm not gonna do all of them, it's a waste of time. So I'm gonna say sudo pacman minus s Arch Linux open box. That sounds like a good one. No, that's the themes, I don't want the themes. Um, open box configs, that's something I can do. And the other one that's also relevant, uh, relevant for this video is the polybar. There we go. So it always goes into etc scan. So we need to copy paste these two folders, open box and polybar, to our own and then we start fiddling about. So config, open box, polybar, control C, Eric, config, Control V, replace all, and that's that. So again, do we have some information in here about Control Find GG menu? There is a new menu added for you guys. So it's a custom script. It's going to tell the word, well, echo, eh? write the word Arch Linux. And when we click on it, on the left, you are going to run the menu and then put everything, well, not important. To def null. And then we get the colors that should be set right up here in the menu. Now to activate it, of course, you need to activate the module. You need to put it somewhere. And you also need to decide in what well main bar you're gonna put it. There is a main bar for i3 for open box for PSPWM. So we are on open box. I need to be in the main bar open box then. And down here, this is the part where you decide what should I put on the left in my menu, what should I put in the center of my menu, what should I put in the right of my menu. So I've just learned that it's called GJ menu, space, save. And let's see if I've forgotten anything. So we will launch Polybar, we will launch this new Polybar configuration and we don't have our own configuration, so we have the old configuration. 
let's see uh, how it looks. So exit open box, log out. Best to log out, why? Tin 2 is active. Tin 2 is the menu. So now it's not active anymore and Polybar kicks in, hopefully. So you see that Tin 2 is still active and Polybar is not there. So I need to investigate again. We did something wrong. So, config. I know I already what I've done. <laughs> Open box. The danger of copy paste. How to start? Uh, right, it's tin2 again. So, hashtag, hashtag, save, log out, login. And here we have our polybar. I've already activated Arc Linux here, up here. And this is the standard look. So this is not my configuration. This is an unchanged Arc Linux um, GJ menu standard look. But you know, we have a website. Actually, I should tell you, we have a website like this. Um, where is it again? Bup, 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 bup. Need to know information about these releases, all websites, right? So we go and have a look at the websites and we say we're working with GG menu. Okay, adding G menu to a polybar, but this one has a configuration link. So here we have a configuration on pastebin.com. And then we say we want it raw. And we can do Control A, Control C. And now we're gonna copy paste it in our configuration, GG menu, G -Man RC, Control A, delete, Control V, save. And we're gonna have a different kind of look. You see it's a lot bigger in the icons, it's a lot nicer because when the icons are too small, it's it's gonna well not look very nice. And the color is a bit better. It's white font, bigger font. You just change the fonts, the colors, the icons. It's all good. And if you know have these guys, you know what it is. You have to Control Alt M these days, and then you click here on the fix hard coded icons, or you type in the terminal hard code fixer with sudo in front of it. And that will be fixed. You see how HP lib in there. So the bad guys are killed. HP is now also looking very, very nice. The reason why it's not there, standard, is this one. It's gonna be way too big. You can scroll down and scroll up, I know. But it's just too much. So there you go. We have now this menu activated and uh, you can enjoy it. All right, cheers.